In this discussion, I want to briefly overview two research articles that discuss human auditory perception of radio and microwaves, as well as the effects of radio and microwaves on human beings, health and well-being. And I want to mention, so it's clear, that things like cell phones operate on a radio frequency. I have a research article here from Journal of Acoustical Society of America. And it was published in 1982 by Chow, Guy, and Galambos. And it's called Auditory Perception of Radio Frequency Electromagnetic Fields. The article describes how pulsed microwave energy can produce an auditory sensation in human beings that have normal hearing. And what they hear is a clicking, buzzing, or hissing sound, depending on the characteristics of the microwaves. The investigators here believe that the cause of this auditory sensation is thermoelastic expansion. Basically, you hear something because a minuscule wave of pressure is set up within the head and it's detected at the cochlea when the absorbed microwave pulse is converted to thermal energy. Note that the cochlea is a part of the auditory hearing device in your ear. So if you are interested in this, I recommend this article. I have a research article here called Human Health effects from radio frequency and microwave fields. It's published in the Journal of Basic and Applied Scientific Research, and it was published in 2012 by Esma Lack. The paper talks about the effects of electromagnetic fields of mobile communications and other sources of radio frequency and microwave fields. They talk about the overall effects on hearing, the eyes, skin, the blood-brain barrier, and they also discuss thermal and non-thermal effects, radio frequency hearing, behavioral effects, and effects on the immune system. They end with the standards for human health and safety. I just want to read a few things. From this paper. Talks about again thermal effects, eye damage, skin damage, non thermal effects, blood brain barrier. I'd like to talk about hearing. The response of the human auditory to the radio frequency fields is called RF hearing. Some of the human and animal studies show that by low level microwave, resulting in the subject's hearing. Buzz, clicks, hiss, knocks, or chirps. And according to the cited authors, the RF here does not depend on the average power density. It does depend on the energy in a single pulse. When the head is exposed to short microwave pulses, RF hearing might occur, and depending on how you modulate the frequency, the sounds can change. Behavioral effects, memory loss, sleep disorders, insomnia, decrease in REM sleep, slowed motor skills, slowed reaction time, impaired nervous system activity, loss in concentration, fuzzy thinking, spatial distortion, change in the brain's electrical activity. Immune system effects, there are altered white blood cell activity headaches, decreased immune function, increased heart rate, increased blood pressure, DNA damage, changes to DNA repair capacity, self-proliferation, and cancer. Basically, they say, in terms of the standards, is that humans work and live near electromagnetic field sources like radar and BTS antenna. And the standards that are applied 
vary from country to country. And they go over some of these guidelines, and there's a general discussion. But it's important to realize that these effects are real. Just because you don't see them yourself or feel them directly yourself does not mean they are not there and they are not harming you. It also does not mean, because you can't hear them or feel them or see them, that other people are unable to perceive them. So I thought this was a very important article to create awareness on the topic and the damaging effects.